but the worst experience I had was with Dean because Dean and I got along really well. You know, I think he was always, he always liked the cruiserweight guys and right. he had something, you know, he was always uh, in their corner for the most part. But then there was a time when um, Kidman had just been recently let go. And so I thought, well, here's the green light for me to start doing this shooting star that I can do better than him and probably better right. than anybody at the time. So I was like, great, like this is going to help me get over uh, even more or whatever. So I did it on like <laughs> one velocity to Nunzio. I remember it was a thinking like Buffalo and the crowd like, popped huge and they exploded. And I get, I get up to the ramp and I get into the gorilla. And of course, Dean was my agent. I get into the gorilla and um, I think it was Jerry or I think it was Jerry Briscoe who was back there. He was like, this is coming from Vince. No more 450. And I looked at Dean and I was like, all right, that wasn't a 450. Whatever, he goes, well, whatever it was, nothing, you can't do it anymore. No more off the top for you. And I looked wow. at Dean and I was like, what the fuck? You know? And Dean looks at me and he goes, let's go, let's go take care of this right now. Let's, let's go talk to Vince right now. So we power walked from Gorilla past the big monitor everyone was like standing clapping because this was like you don't really get a standing ovation from the boys for like a velocity match <laughs> you know right but like i was busting shit out and uh and i was i walked past everyone was giving me a standing ovation we're walking past i'm like okay yeah thanks i couldn't even acknowledge it um because i was so pissed off and we're walking down the hallway and right as we get into vince's office uh dean stops and he looks at me and he goes let me handle this i got this and i was like all right like you're the agent and we walk in and uh i kid you not in under a minute he you know we go in and he looks at vince and he's like oh, excuse me sir uh what is this you don't want him no more top rope moves or something he goes yeah no more off the top and dean just goes okay and he just walks out, <laughs> right, right? Like just right. walks out, like the tail was like not only between his legs, it was up his ass, um, <laughs> and he just leaves me there. And so, of course, I'm not going to just, you know, do the same thing and be like, okay, you know. And I was like, well, fuck it. If he's not going to fight for me, I'm going to fight for myself. And I'm going to just, and very diplomatically, you know, I wasn't like, well, this is bullshit. You know, like, like I, I, I have this, apparently I had this reputation that I had like an attitude problem when I worked there and, and I was uh, wh whatever, you know, and I don't really know where that comes from unless it's being said by somebody who works in the office there now, Bruce Pritchard. Um, and, <laughs> and, and it's like, I wasn't difficult or I didn't have an attitude. I just, I gave a fuck. I gave a fuck yeah. about my work. I cared about it. I had known what I had sacrificed uh, just to even be in the locker room at my size. Yeah. So like, forgive me for giving a fuck about my, myself and having confidence. Like, Oh God forbid, you know, like, um, <clears throat> So, of course, I was going to stand up for myself. And I was like, you know, excuse me, sir. Like, I just don't understand where you're coming from with this. And uh, he was like, oh, well, you know, like, um, I don't want guys getting hurt and going off the top. And everyone's going to get hurt. And I said, well, no, I don't understand. Like, this is, this is my move. Like, this is, you know, my finisher. And nobody else is going to do it. Plus, you know, did you see the reaction? Like the people liked, you know, they popped. And he was like, it's not about what the people like. I swear to God. Well, and I was just like, wow. I'm, this, is a, this, well, is, this is crazy land. He goes, it's not about what the people want. You know, it's about guys getting hurt. I said, well, nobody's going to get hurt because I do it better than anybody. And nobody's going to do this move because it's my finisher. And then he looked me dead in the eyes and he goes, oh, so you want us to make an exception for you? And I was like... That's kind of what finishers are, you dumb fuck. Um, <laughs> well, hold on, Paul. Like, Paul. Did, didn't Billy Kidman and uh, Hooventude fuck somebody up with that same move, though, before you? Well, 
No, Kidman, uh, but Kidman, Kidman Hospital, Kidman knocked out Chavo, legit, yeah. Yeah. knocked him out. Like Chavo was out cold for what felt like five minutes, which is a scary long amount of time. I'm sure it was closer to like two or three minutes, but still, even then, being knocked out for that long is yeah. not good. I saw that <laughs> um, clip. I remember that. Oh, it's frightening, right? It is. But then Juventud had done the 450 onto me, and his knee went right into my eye socket. And um, I had probably sustained a concussion, but, you know, it was one of those, like, ah, his eyes aren't completely googly-eyed, and he seems right. okay. Right. Give, him a slap, right. give him a slap on the face. You're yeah. fine. <laughs> um and but i actually i remember i remember that was in um in worcester mass and i remember i was riding with davari at the time and we had we had to go to the hospital after like they ordered me a cat scan surprisingly and i had to go from the building to the hospital to get a ct scan for that just i think they were trying to make sure i didn't have a cracked orbital or something Right. But uh, but yeah, so I think it was a combination of like him having seen Kidman fuck that move up more than once and knock Chavo out. And I think it had been the fact that he had to pay money for me to get a CAT scan <laughs> um, right. because of Juventude doing the 450. Um, but for whatever reason, he 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 wanted to you know, in, put his foot down on this one. And even Nunzio, you know, who <clears throat> was one of the more paranoid dudes up there was like, oh, I'll God. even tell, you know, I'll, I'll tell him that it was perfectly safe, you know, like that. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. it's a little late now. Um, mm. But, but he was like, yeah, if you start, because Vince was like, if you start doing that move, then like other guys are going to want to start doing it. And Ray's going to start doing it. I was like, Ray's not going to do that. Like, nobody's going to do that move. Like, it's my finisher. Oh, so you want us to make an exception for you. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, I'm talking to a goddamn mannequin. Um, <laughs> like, you that's kind of what us. finishers are. <laughs> yeah, like, that's kind of what finishers are, man. Like, are you no. like...